My name is Stuart Puckin. I'm a director here at the Max Planck Institute for Microstructure Physics. I direct the department, which is called Nanosystems from Ions, Electrons and Spins. Uh, the focus of our research is to explore and, in fact, discover new materials by atomically layering uh, materials one on top of each other to create materials with useful properties. In particular, we want to control the flow of currents of spin-polarized electrons to build devices that essentially form the backbone of today's information technology era. We are interested in developing new types of devices that store digital data and new types of devices that can compute. Uh, so my own research has already impacted society. A device I invented uh, two decades ago now is used to read information in magnetic disk drives which store today 70% of all the digital data. And digital data forms the basis of what you might call the digital data era of today. So today we live in a very exciting time for scientists and technologists. We live at the end of an era that has lasted 40 years, in which a device invented 40 years ago, the field effect transistor, has been scaled in size, shrunken a billion times. But the shrinking of these devices is no longer possible. We've reached fundamental limitations of the physics. So we want to devise entirely new devices, and there are two very exciting areas of computing. One is quantum computing, and here my own area of expertise is in spintronics and the possibility of using a single electron spin as a quantum qubit is very exciting, something we are thinking about working on. And secondly, another area of computing is brain-like computing. So our brains compute a million times more energy efficiently than today's CMOS or silicon oxide based computing systems. So we're very interested in devising new types of materials and devices that could allow us to invent new computing technologies that could be much more energy efficient than today's computing technologies. So our work is really at the trying to push the boundaries of science and technology beyond what we know today. So it's very exciting. We explore essentially the, the unknown. My name is Joyce Poon and I am a director here at the Max Planck Institute of Microstructure Physics. I come from the University of Toronto in Canada where I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering. My research specialty is integrative photonics. Our main research expertise is integrative photonics and that's the technology that controls, generates and detects uh, light on microchips. And we're using this uh, integrated photonic technology to create tools that study the brain, um, that send light into the brain and can detect light uh, coming from, um, from neuroactivity. Uh, at the same time, we're also using this technology to create new types of um, interfaces for people and computers, such as um, a smart uh, wearable displays. Um, we are interested in developing new microtechnology based tools for studying the brain and interfacing with the sensory system, so the, the nervous system of the human body. Um, and that um, has implications for health, for example, um, allowing neuroscientists to better understand um, how the brain works so we can develop or they can develop new types of uh, medical treatments. We are also interested in these new forms of interfaces for computers with, with people, so brain or human computer interfaces, so this uh, can allow for new types of uh, computers uh, for the future. And computing will remain a very important part of our society for many, many decades to come because a lot of big problems in our world need better computers. And that's the core of our, um, of our research um, at the Institute.
So a new building um, is scheduled to complete in uh, 2025. Um, it will have three um, modules uh, with a brand new clean room, which can enable nanofabrication and material deposition um, for the research here. There will be a new administrative uh, uh, building with offices and also a set of new laboratories. And this new building will actually allow us to expand our institute from currently about 150 co-workers to 300 uh, co-workers. Um, it will also allow us to recruit another new director here at the institute. So currently we have three directors. We will grow to four and maybe there's room to add more directors in the future to expand the scope of research that our institute can cover. So it's a really excellent opportunity, not only for us, but also for the Weinberg campus. Um, I hope that we can use this as an opportunity to form more interactions and collaborations with the university and the nearby institutes. Yeah, my name is Shinya Fen. I'm a director of Max Planck Institute of Max Structure Physics and also professor at the Technische University of Dresden. Our research focuses uh, on the exploration of precision chemistry and the synthesis of new materials, which have emergent phenomenon and the unique properties which can contribute to addressing global challenges and also provide the future opportunities. Uh, we can, uh, we like to discover uh, new materials and uh, functional devices, which on the one hand can create new technologies, but also on the other hand, we like to, you know, address the global challenges and uh, improve the quality of societies. We, you know, like to develop new technologies for the energy storage and energy conversion, but also we like to develop technology for the uh, information technologies related to the Internet of Things that our new chemistry and the materials can contribute to. I believe our institute is a very important part of the Weinberg campus. So we have many synergies and collaborations with which the surrounding institutions and the also universities. So we not only train the young generation of students and the junior researchers, but also we establish the joint projects and establish the strategy toward the future development of new materials, device technologies, which can be very important for the local area. to stay curious and very motivated uh, about uh, the, the research. So hopefully, uh, whoever you are, <laughs> find something that really motivates you and gets you up in the morning. And it's the last thing you think about uh, when you go to sleep. Um, and that's really the, the main driver um, for doing research. Do something different. Uh, you have to explore, go beyond what other people are doing and try to do something also, do something that really excites you. There's no point in doing something you're not truly excited and interested in. And I think if you do that, something really exciting that excites you and that goes beyond uh, current state of knowledge, that means you'll have a very successful scientific career. We like to develop the passion for the research. The hobby is the key driving force for the scientific uh, research directions. Second, uh, we also like to find the key scientific problems and the challenges behind and utilize the important scientific tools and methods which can finally create their own unique profile for the research direction. Mm -hmm.